Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Miss New Jersey and this is your best place to find all your Stormworks related content. From weekly updates to build series to the best workshop creations and much more. Now in this video we're going to be having a look at this week's announcement of the next major update here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So the devs have given us another clue at the next major update here in Stormworks. Now, starting with this week's announcement, they have announced the new handheld illumination equipment. Now, this gets broken down into a couple of different uh, parts and different pieces they actually said. Now, the first one we're going to get is handheld flares. Now, these are very similar to the kind of flares that we have already in game that we can actually launch from our creations using the flare block. Um, these will be obviously something you can go and pick up and you can go and light while you're out in the world of Stormworks which is actually something really cool, obviously signaling either electrical failure or maybe you're distressed on board and you want to light a flare quickly. This is really nice and I think it's going to add a lot of a lot of um, good features to the game here and this is going to be really improving our actual experience of the game in terms of role playing, etc, etc. Now the next thing they announced is the new handheld flare gun. Now this is very similar to the actual handheld flares, but instead this will be a gun that you can use to actually go and shoot the flare out. Now I'm guessing it's going to work exactly the same as how we have our flare launches at the moment. Instead it will just be something that you can go and actually pick up, hold in your hand and then point and shoot it. So it'll work exactly the same way. They did also mention that with this flare launcher you can have a box of ammo. So Similar to like an inventory slot where you'll be able to just walk up to it and like use the ammo and reload your flare gun and shoot this off. Now, as soon as obviously I mentioned gun, I'm sure everyone's going to get very excited and thinking, oh, if they're adding a flare launcher or flare gun, we're going to get real guns in the game. To be honest, I don't think that is the case. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments below if you would like guns or if you won't. I know this is a very hot topic between uh, Stormworks players if they want guns or if they don't. Uh, but you let me know in the comments below. The next thing we're going to get is wearable strobe beacons. Now, I think they mentioned a few weeks ago that we'll have, we'll have some vests that will have uh, beacons in them. Um, so this time, I think they're just pretty much going back onto this is it's going to be the actual vest itself will have this beacon inside it and it's also going to have a light on it um, so they've mentioned here that it will have a flash visible and also an IR light uh, that you'll be able to see so if you have people like overworld or floating in the water uh, it will activate this and it will activate that light so at night missions and so on and so forth you'll be able to go and rescue people that have fallen off or just people in the water in general the next thing they did mention is the um, change to the handheld torch. So in game at the moment we have a torch in theory which is a multiple head wearable torch. It's on you by default and you usually just press V to activate it. Um, what's going to happen now is they're going to get rid of that as far as I can see and we're going to have a torch that you're going to have to pick up in game. Exactly the same, it's going to be an equipment, uh, so it'll be in like an inventory thing and you can go and pick it up and use it, I'm um, guessing turn it on and off and then point in different directions, just like we can with the torch at the moment. But this one we can obviously equip and then unequip if we need to. Um, and that was pretty much about what they gave us in terms of specs and features we're going to get with new illumination equipment. But they've also given us a whole bunch of other things and that's in terms of these GIFs or screenshots that they posted on the announcement. Now we're going to break it through down into a few different ones. Uh, the first GIF that we can see is the actual handheld flare. So it seems like it's quite a big, um, it's almost like the flare looks really identical to a real life one uh, where you can go and equip it and then it will go and shine this big flare mount. Um, another thing that also we can see from this GIF is that at the bottom we can actually see your inventory. So you can see there we have uh, one, two, what, six slots it looks like and we can actually scroll between different slots. So that is another clue that we've been given away. Um, we've also seen a GIF here of the actual handheld flare gun. So you can see it how it looks like in this GIF someone is actually pointing up, shooting it uh, and you can actually see the gun going down which is pretty cool. Uh, along with that we also get to see the handheld torch and looks like the player is moving left or right and the torch is following them. There looks like a little bit of delay there so I don't know if that is um, 
if that's intentional or not, but oh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but then the most important thing that we can see from these uh, GIFs and screenshots is the last one where the devs have actually given us a render of all these handheld items. Now we're gonna walk through them and we'll just kind of diagnose them and have a little talk about them and see what they are. Now we'll start from the right hand side. Uh, we have the handheld looks like fire extinguisher. Now I think they have already obviously announced this that we're gonna get this. This is the first time we're seeing any type of render or any type of image of these new handheld items. So this is really cool. Um, obviously the fire extinguisher looks like it does normally i think we actually have some of those renders already in game um i think you can use them with the mission editor i could be wrong um but yeah the handheld fire signature looks really cool on the left of that we can also see the actual new medical equipment uh, so this looks like a medical box that we would use to obviously re regenerate any health or fix any injuries that we would possibly have uh, which was also announced already in a previous um, previous announcement now going above that it looks like we have some binoculars um, now it seems like we have two different sets because on the left hand side it looks like your standard type of binocular and on the right hand side looks like a military one. So I'm guessing, this is once again just a guess, I'm guessing that's probably going to be an IR uh, one or like a night vision binoculars. Um, which will be really cool, especially for your night missions, uh, especially if you're doing like a military night mission. Just above that uh, we can see the flare and the flare gun, uh, both of them look really cool. To the bottom and to the little left of that, we can see the handheld torch, uh, which once again looks like a handheld torch in real life. And then on the left of that, we also see the defibrillator. Um, so they did mention this a couple of weeks ago that we'll have the defibrillators where we can obviously revive players uh, in game. So this is something really cool. Now, I don't know how much inventory space this is going to take. Like, I don't know if you take like a fire extinguisher, does that mean you can't carry anything else? I could be wrong. I don't know yet. So we're going to have to wait and see what the devs give us here. Um, but so far, really cool. Uh, on the left of that, I can only guess that is a radio jammer or frequency detector. I could be once again completely wrong here, uh, but that's my thoughts on it, or my guess at least. Um, it looks like some type of radio frequency device. Uh, and then on the left of that, on the top left, we have a, looks like a wearable uh, oxygen, like diving gear thing that you would put in your mouth uh, and you can have fresh oxygen inside there to go and do some diving missions and so on and so forth, instead of putting your full scuba gear on and so on and so on. So that is really cool. Um, another cool feature, we also have, looks like the welding torch. And then we also have the, um, I think it's the deep sea welding torch. If I'm correct, the one that works underneath underneath water or inside water. Um, so two different types of welding torches there. Really quite nice. And once again, I like those. So that will be able to go and fix our vehicles. Uh, and that comes down to probably the, the most interesting one for me. And that looks like a controller. Now, when I mean that, when I say it's interesting is if that is a, like a controller, like a joystick controller, that means it's a remote controller. That means we can go and control things just using this box. So imagine having, go and imagine having like a, let's say a drone or a crane that we want to go and operate. I actually think they did announce this. They did mention this already, but imagine it having like a seat and you can just go and control things. I really like how that render looks. Uh, I think it definitely looks really cool. I think on the left and right is like your joysticks and then you would have like your one to six buttons at the bottom to go and activate things. That is really cool for me. I'm really excited about that. Uh, and then moving on to the right of that, the last two items looks like we have a basic either a compass or a clock or like a watch um, that you can actually like a pocket watch. I could be wrong once again here, but that's my thoughts at least. And then lastly, we have the radio. Uh, so this is a handheld radio item we'll be able to pick up and then switch between different frequencies and talk to players. Um, so once again, really cool. I really like that. I think that's gonna be another cool feature is to have these handheld radios instead of having them built into our creations. Of course, you know, if we want long range radio, this is perfect to obviously have it in our creations, but imagine like you're you're doing a mission, you have to jump on out of your ship, you have to go on the beach, uh, you have to run around the island and you have maybe one of your teammates over back on the boat or in a helicopter, you can then 
quickly communicate using the radio instead of obviously having to use Discord or something else. You can actually do it in game. Uh, and that brings it on to like multiplayer when you're doing multiplayer, multiplayer servers where maybe you're not on the same server, Discord server as everyone else, you could then speak to each other using these handheld radios. Now I'm guessing the distance for them is quite short in comparison to like our vehicle radios, um, but still a really, really cool feature. And that's pretty much about, for, about it for what they announced this week. Um, as I said, they've given us some nice features in terms of this new equipment, but they've also given us a lot of clues, uh, which I'm really happy about. And I think you guys will be too, of what these things are actually going to be used for and how they look in game. This is the first time they've done an announcement where they've actually given us in-game view of what these things are going to look like and what they are going to do, which is really cool. Now, of course, they did say that um, they're still working on this. This is gonna be a really huge update. So they haven't given us any details on any dates uh, or when we're gonna be expecting it, but they said that they will be sharing the dates and information details very, very soon. Uh, they said that they are thanking us, of course, for their patience, uh, for, sorry, for our patience uh, in this because we've obviously seen a couple announcements now, a couple weeks where we've gotten these announcements, but I'm glad they've gone in this direction where they've actually shown us what's happening, given us some more information, also said that we'll be getting a date very soon, which I'm really glad to hear about. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this week's announcement, what what you think of all these different updates um what you think about all these different equipment how they work um you know from that render what you see over there do you think we should get some more different types of items you let me know in the comments below and obviously i'll read them i'll have a look at them and obviously we can discuss that over on my discord so if you haven't already joined my discord server be sure to join that the link is in the video description also and if you want to support this channel or this video in any way you can join and become a member of the channel or you can go and join my patreon where you'll get exclusive roles in our discord server so that's it for this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed it and found us entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one